Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got space weather, earthquakes, eye candy, and a new wrinkle in the solar system shift, this one at Uranus. And as alternative explanations fall one by one, the observers are still standing. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star. Very quiet. The solar flaring we saw come back yesterday did not continue, despite a slight development of the active regions. Corona hole there will hit us with solar wind in about two days. Geomagnetic storms are possible, but they will be minor. The sunspot development I mentioned can be seen here. New group born on the south and a larger group turning in on the north, just cresting the limb into view. Good bit of development there, actually. We'll be watching both of these groups closely in the next few days. Next, let's do a coronal hole Rorschach test. Folks, we've seen the Great Pyramid, Big Bird, various faces, Santa's sleigh, and many more. What do you see when you look at this? Comment below, and as always, we'll accept both comments on the dark coronal hole or on the negative space created by it, which is actually pink and swirly and beautiful. Quick note, that is two above average rumbles off the Oregon coastline. One isn't grabbing me. A second has me really waiting for a third to see if there's about to be an uptick. Always concerned for Cascadia. Up next, a little bit of eye candy from Alma here. Below you see a cavity carved by stellar ignition and the jets blasting out. The Herbig Harrow knots and shock shells are gorgeous in the zoomed in views. Radio astronomy is really much cooler than it gets credit for. Up next, little data release from Punch. This is one of the new missions seeking to better understand space weather interaction with the Earth, and here it is just teasing us with some of its first shots, recently launched successfully. And check out Comet Lemon up top in there and the planetary conjunction seen in this wide view. This is pretty cool. And today's top story, the Uranus upper atmospheric cooling is not the solar wind. While the main solar system shift changes on Uranus have been the discussion about the movement of its magnetic poles and its record aurora, the mainstream explanation for its climate cooling has been a drop in the solar wind. It's now official. They've gone back up in solar wind power this sunspot cycle, and yet Uranus cooling persists. The cooling is a major aspect of the magnetic pole shifts once they accelerate to a certain point, allowing enhanced vertical flows and cosmic ray cloud umbido enhancement. According to the mainstream, they are back to the drawing board looking for an explanation here at Uranus, doing their best to ignore us with our hand up in the back of the class. Folks, first weekend of February, we are holding the Experience 2.0 in Sedona. The energetic vortex of Arizona is the perfect place to get hard as a coffin nail, spiritually, psychologically, and physically. This is the program that has me never missing a day of this show. Go try to find my last day off. Dare you. That discipline and fire has infected every inch of my life, and I recommend it. Check out the page link below, listen to the testimonials, and read the others. Whether you are in need of healing or polishing of the marble. We got you. And we greatly appreciate your support. All links are found below. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.